Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and in this video I will be sharing 50 things to do in Japan. Let's get to it. Ninja training. Become a ninja at Ninja Dojo and Store. After getting dressed, we were introduced to the art of becoming a ninja, learning about their history, the importance of meditation, proper training, and ninja spy walk. Then we moved into weapons from throwing shuriken stars and chopsticks at a target, sword handling, blow darts, and so much more. We were living out of our childhood dream and the excitement was so real. Spice Chambers, a cozy, tiny little restaurant with one dish on their menu, Japanese curry with rice, offered in a choice of small, medium, or large, with cheese or no cheese topping, and get it with cheese because it's absolutely delicious. Think Japanese Indian curry. Mario Kart. There's plenty of costumes to choose from and the staff takes you through a tutorial on how to operate the cart safely. So relax and have fun. It's one of the best life experiences that cannot be missed. Ryukin. We went during November when the leaves were falling and it was absolutely breathtaking. The Ryukin is set between the mountains with the river bridge walkway not too far from the city. In the area there are trekking trails that leads to temples surrounded by local restaurants. We took a break here for some warm drinks. Traditional breakfast is served in a common area. While the kaiseki dinner is brought to your room. Best of all, relax in the private onsens and tubs. Ninja Restaurant I'm not going to spoil the little surprises they have, but once you enter the restaurant, your experience begins right away with the ninja staff. So get ready for some ninja fun and food. Osaka Aquarium Get lost in the wonders of the marine life. The aquarium has a nice layout with spectacular displays and many exhibits to go through. Their enormous central tank is 8 stories high, filled with thousands of fishes, stingrays, turtles, and a whale shark. The smaller tanks located on the outside walls are housing sea creatures such as Japanese spider crabs, penguins, sea lions, and more. They saved the best for last. Kobe Beef in Kobe City The meat is so soft, it literally butters in your mouth. Buy your ramen Because we love ramen so much, we had to watch it go up in flames. Harajuku. Tokyo's cute, crazy, and cool fashion district is worth the hype. Harajuku Backstreets. Uda Harajuku is quieter and less chaotic. The backstreets are lined up with cafes, boutiques, vintage shops, and an art gallery.
Croquant too. You gotta try one of these guys. It's a cream puff that has a crispy breaded outside and the cream inside is light and not as sweet, which I like eat. Calbee, Japan's most famous brand potato chips. If you like sweet and savory, try this. It's freshly made and so yummy. Most importantly, get their pochitico fries. Fresh, toasty, and soft in the middle. They're known for this. Squishy. Monster Cafe. Monster Cafe Kawaii Decor is jaw-dropping and like anything you have ever seen. Upon arrival, there is a giant rotating merry-go-round topped with cherries and a unicorn. Several different themed rooms that's wild and colorful. Definitely an Instagram photo place. And don't forget to check out their rainbow bathrooms. Robot Restaurant Robot Restaurant is no ordinary restaurant, nor is the show. There's a variety of colorful robots, extravagant costumes, dinosaurs, aliens, Godzilla, loud music, pretty girls, and so much more. This type of show is what sets Tokyo apart from anywhere in the world, and there will be lots and lots of laughs and what the moments. But do count on it being ridiculously fun. Reissue Cafe. Reissue Cafe is known for their 2D and 3D latte art, using milk foam and chocolate syrup to create a portrait of yourself or any characters. Akihabara. Akihabara, also known as Electric Town. This is an anime manga paradise. There are huge selections of anime shops and merchandise everywhere. Perfect for video game players and comic book readers. Kodomon Ichiba Market Kodomon Ichiba Market is street food heaven. A series of streets and alleys filled with a variety of fresh seafood, fried food, drinks, fruits, vegetables, and more. Uh, giant shrimp. Wagyu and Kobe beef tasting in Osaka streets. We couldn't get over how delicious the Kobe beef was in Kobe city. So we decided to take it on in the streets. It's definitely good though. <laughs> Delicious. Uh huh. Yeah. After we had the wagyu, they gave us the wagyu certificate card. <laughs> now that we have tried China Kobe, we get the Kobe certificate card, the gold card. <laughs> Golden Guy. Golden Guy is a very unique district that has hundreds of tiny bars crammed into six streets. Each bar sits three to eight people. A very intimate way to meet other locals and travelers while bonding with bartenders. Fushimi Inari Shrine Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of the top sites to see in Japan. The shrine was dedicated to the god of rice by the Hata clan in the 8th century. The black engravings on each gate are inscriptions from donors. Famous for its 10,000 gates and famous from Memoirs of a Geisha. Go early to avoid the crowd.
Yogia Cafe. Yogia Cafe comes from a well known Japanese cosmetic brand, and this is their logo. I almost feel bad drinking it because it's so beautiful and I love the story behind it. Bamboo Forest. Train. Japan has one of the best train systems in the world. Clean, fast, and punctual. Learn how to use all the trains to get around and go early to spend time at the station. Plenty of retail therapy and yummy food to eat. Osaka. Osaka is the third largest city in Japan that is known for its delicious food, fun loving people, and nightlife. Comidas Coffee, a chained coffee shop that provides a cozy and comfy atmosphere. Before 11, your drink comes with crispy, fluffy toast. It has ice cream in it, right? Yeah, I think it's ice, ice cream on a Danish. Soba noodles. Soba noodles is made from buckwheat flour. It's the best when it's silky, firm, and chewy. Karaoke. Databori. Databori is the heart of Osaka, with lots of shopping and countless food choices. The district comes to life at night with its neon lights. In the night at Giraffe Club, there are four floors with all different music. You won't get bored. Noodle soup. Good morning! What time is it? Seven? Seven in the morning. Wow. Mm. Seven. Seven more udon and grilled beef. Yep. Look at this spot. It's so sweet. Hey, right there. You see this? Look at this one. It's like one of the coolest restaurants I've ever seen. Uh, it's yeah. Oh, that's good. It's so delicious. Right there. Mm. This is the one dish that I cannot stop dreaming about. Curry Udon Noodles Anyhow, Japan offers many different flavors and styles of noodle soups. Try them all if you can. They're all amazing. Shabu Shabu Switch it up and have fun cooking your own soup. Hanazono Shrine Hanazono Shrine it's a smaller shrine located in the heart of Shinjuku. Go on the weekends so you can catch the flea market. Why not kill two birds with one stone? Sukiyaki Sukiyaki is an original Japanese hot pot dish that is like shabu shabu using similar ingredients. Except it is not a soup. It's a one dish meal that is slowly cooked with vegetables. The broth is sweet and savory, and before eating, you dip it into the raw egg to complete the suki yaki flavor. Yakiniku Yakiniku is Japanese barbecue, grilling raw vegetables, seafood, and meat that is not seasoned. For more flavors, they provide dipping sauces on the side. Raw chicken I know what you're thinking, but people in Japan eat it all the time, so we decided to try. It's good. Oh, chicken. Do they know that we can't eat this in America? Kinkakuchi Temple. Kinkakuchi Temple, also known as the Golden Pavilion, is set on a pond, surrounded by a beautiful and serene garden that is easily walked around. Final Fantasy Azora Cafe. 
For all the Final Fantasy fans, this is pretty incredible. Square Enix Cafe. In order to experience these themed cafes, you have to get a ticket for an open time slot. This was the pizza. At the end of your experience, they give you a poster and coasters. Gundam Cafe. The Mermaid. The Mermaid is a pub located in central Tokyo. It was a great place to have happy hour. Pretty thoughtful for smokers. I'm a sucker for any places that provides blankets when sitting outside. What is it about that that's just so amazing? Ropongi. Club V2 Tokyo Club V2 Tokyo was poppin'. The decor was impressive. Vanity mirrors all over the ceiling. Neon lights and lit floors. Yes. And this. Lots and lots of entertainment and upbeat music. After the club, we were so hungry and found this restaurant after hours. I'm a bit sad that I couldn't read the name in Japanese, but it's located on the second floor in front of Hard Rock Cafe. Convenience store. Convenience stores in Japan is like no other. They're pretty special. It's a one-stop destination for food, drinks, and goodies. Shibuya Crossing. Shibuya Crossing is the busiest intersection in the world, regardless of the hour of the day. Eat crepes and eat crepe cakes. They make it perfectly here with just the right amount of ice cream, fruits, whip, and the size is not underwhelming or overwhelming. Ugh, it's perfect. Robots. Meat, pepper. A robot designed to have basic conversations with humans by reading their emotions. It's pretty neat, right? Hotels. Make sure you check with your hotels to see what they provide for toiletries. I wish I would have checked so I wouldn't have packed so much. All of our hotels provided everything for us. Shampoos, conditioners, body wash, face lotion, body lotion, toothbrush, toothpaste, shower cap, makeup wipes, q-tips, shaver, a brush, and free water bottles all day. If you don't want them to come into your room, they even leave a bag outside your door. Just in case you don't have pocket Wi-Fi, the hotel provides free cell phones with internet for your navigation around town. Starbucks. You gotta visit Starbucks. Though there are a lot of unique drinks, I was actually drooling over all the pastries there. Gion, better known as the Geisha District. 
the charming old wooden architecture, cobblestones, and ladies dressed in kimonos take you back to days gone by. We were only here for a few hours and I couldn't get content in the dark. On a side note, if you're ever in Kyoto, this is not to be missed. And that's a wrap. 50 things to do in Japan. We're planning to go back, so if you have any recommendations, please comment below. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. 